A family desperately looking for justice after a loved one was killed right outside of his business. Yeah, it happened on July 13th outside of a hookah lounge in Harper Woods, and still no arrests have been made. Sean Lay spoke with the family today, and Sean, there seems to be a lot of questions here. Absolutely, and the main question is, when will someone be arrested and held accountable for this cold-blooded murder of 37-year-old Mo Gotti? That's his name, his business in Harper Woods. He was gunned down right in front of it, as you mentioned. Family and friends today in Sterling Heights, that's where he's from. They want to shine more light on this case in hopes police can make a quick arrest. Take a look at your screen for a moment. These are photos of a man named Mo Gotti, shot and killed outside his business in Harper Woods July 13th. You can tell Gotti was so full of life. Who would want to take him away from his wife, his kids, his family, and friends? This was a strong man, man. He had a strong family. He raised strong kids. Ricky Mann says Mo Gotti was a huge positive influence in his life as a friend and business partner. Mann put Gotti's photo on the front of his Sterling Heights gym. For more than a month now, no one has been arrested for the shooting. Every day we have to go out there and watch our back because we don't even know who it is. The same person could do it to us. You know what I mean? And that's just... That's just uh, ridiculous to have to think of when you're leaving the house or leaving your place of business. Amir Ahmad is Gotti's nephew. Every day waking up knowing he's gone, not getting a phone call from him, uh, seeing his family and not telling them that the investigators have anything really towards this case, it's, it's really, really, really hard. For someone to just go out there and do something like that to him and leave us like this, this, this is just, this is outrageous, this is crazy. And then for us to have no answers, it's even more ridiculous. Uh, his sister is calling me every day, asking me, uh, do something about it, get on the news, do something. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys getting? Are you guys hearing anything? We're not hearing nothing. With no, I haven't heard of no arrest. Back here live, we told family and friends there today we would check with Harper Woods Public Safety, get to the bottom of where this investigation is. And here's what we're told, that detectives are making very good progress on this. They have very solid leads they are following up. The investigation is taking time. Once they present something to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, they want to make sure everything is completely buttoned up and secure. So that's what they're doing, being very thorough with this investigation. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Sean.